Medical students are also part of the first phase of vaccine distribution alongside frontline workers, which you've heard about, and nursing home residents. News 2's Kate Prestak spoke with MUSC students at the Medical University who are already receiving that vaccine. She joins us from one of the authorized locations that students are able to get that vaccine. Students at MUSC with direct patient contact able to follow the same phase 1A guidelines as MUSC workforce when it comes to vaccinations. Those in hands on programs at the university saying the vaccine isn't just about helping their well being, it's peace of mind during classes. Whenever we're transferring or if we're moving around or doing um, ADLs like brushing our teeth or getting in and out of the bathroom. I want to make sure that they're safe. So I got the vaccine so that I'm safe. Emily Taylor, an occupational therapy student, says she was thankful the option was given to the students as their clinicals begin in the next few weeks. Physical therapy student Kate Haynes says it was a quick process. It was super quick, like they scan your badge. You get like a little vaccination card that you have to bring for your return visit and it just says like your name, your date, um, just like the information about the vaccine you received. Haynes said the vaccine itself hurt less than a flu shot and even after getting both doses, she will keep setting an example by wearing a mask and social distancing. Until society as a whole can change what they're doing, I'm planning to keep being safe even after I've gotten the second vaccine. The Medical University of South Carolina says the vaccine is not mandatory for their students, but it is encouraged. In Charleston, I'm Kate Prestak. Count on two.